hello friends so finally our laravel e-commerce website is ready in laravel 10 and in this video i will explain you the steps that you can take to download the e-commerce website source code okay so that you can run this e-commerce website at your end with complete source code so this is the e-commerce website that we uh, have built okay so you will get the complete source code so that you can run at your end and you can make it online as well okay you can check here that the categories and everything filters also and you can see the left sidebar uh, you can go to any of the detail page as well and can find out the zoom feature is also working perfectly and you can select this site and the uh, the prices change according to the site via ajax and you can see the description video and reviews and and you can just uh, add to card as well and click on view card and you can see the product uh, added to the card and you can uh, after that you can able to log in uh, you can see that you can able to log in with any of the uh, new uh, user okay you can register the user if it's not login yet and you can able to uh, read the checkout page after that and you can place the order with one of the payment method that we have integrated in this laravel e-commerce website cash on delivery direct bank transfer pay with check and paypal okay so you can select any of the option and can uh, place the order like i have placed the uh, cod order okay uh, see email will also go so it is taking time as the email is going at the back end and you uh, okay so the order has been finally placed and you can check in the admin panel so this uh, complete e-commerce website source code you will get uh, once you will join as a member that i will tell you that how you can do that thing also so first check its admin panel in which we have received this uh, new order here you can go to the orders and you can see that the new order has arrived okay and you can simply check the order details and that you can convert to the ship okay so you can give the courier partner of your choice manually and uh, will with the tracking number and will click on update then once again the email will go to the user with the tracking details and you can also able to generate the invoice uh, okay and in the pdf format as well you can see the order status has been updated okay so uh, you can check uh, the uh, c print invoice and the uh, and the barcode also and you can even download the invoice from this link okay so uh, earlier on see we have created this complete admin panel for our e-commerce website and you can see the admin management section with, uh, with update admin password or update admin details and sub admin feature also we have added in this e-commerce website and you can see the cms pages you can add number of cms pages from the admin panel and you can add the categories brands uh, products okay so everything uh, we are going to manage from the admin panel and then uh, you can see the users and order section i have shown you shipping charges module and your banners management and the coupons also there in the admin panel to integrate okay so this complete website you able to get uh, from sidemakers.in website okay you are just required to open this sidemakers.in website and you are required to click on login and there are several uh, methods that that are given here you can pay via paypal or you can simply join uh, from the YouTube okay you can click on this link and there are uh, various memberships that are available you can just join the membership of your own choice you can just simply click on join and yeah, there you can see basic stat developer premium advanced period genius okay you can see uh, all the features are given here as well you can just uh, join the membership as per your own choice and you will get the credentials and after you get the connection you will just fill here and click on login and then you are required to click on download and you can able to see the complete source code download complete advanced e-commerce website in laravel 10 part 1 to 176 and you can able to download the complete source code from here after clicking here not only this one you will get the multi vendor e-commerce website source code and you will get the dating website source code you will get the other website source code as well from here 
okay uh, so uh, so here like uh, for this series this particular series you can able to get the source code after clicking on uh, this url okay you can able to download the source code see the download has been started you can able to download the source code at your end and after downloading you can simply uh, run this source code uh, at your end okay so see after the download you are simply required to unzip it and uh, put it in your xamp as you docs folder okay so like this one uh, this is the source code that i have downloaded i just uh, unzip it and i will just move this folder to my st docs folder okay to run it so see this folder also includes uh, the uh, mysql file as well you can see the mysql file that you are required to import as a database and see this i will simply copy this one and move this one to the xamp as docs folder okay you are required to simply do this do like this okay and uh, see here after moving this one here it, it it is located now and now you can open this uh, folder in sublime uh, i'm going to show you i'm going to close the previous one and we'll open the this one project 10 to and here i'm going to open this dot env file and here you uh, you can see the project 10 database so you are required to create the database here project 10 database and simply import that database file okay see uh, i'm going to show you you are just required to go to the php my admin here you are just required to create the new database project 10 database see project 10 dot database is already created here so see you are just required to create and then go to your database and then import uh, complete database from here okay so you can uh, import complete database from here and this is the file that you are required to import you can move this file anywhere uh, wherever you are just required to choose the file from here okay to import this file so after importing then you will just simply run the project that will look like this one okay then you will get uh, this project at your end that you can run like this okay so this is the source code even you see i will run this project for you like uh, i will make it like uh, uh, project uh, uh, i will make database like project 100 or uh, what is the last video project 176 okay so here i will uh, just simply copy that from here i will simply copy from some other location uh, or i can simply download from here itself okay so i'm going to uh, choose uh, sorry first of all i'm going to uh, uh, create that database like project 176 uh, that uh, project i'm going to make it like project 176 okay create after creating just click on import after import just choose the file okay so i am going to check uh, in download in zap st docs uh, here my new uh, one here it is okay so this is the file i will just import this file okay so this is the project 176 that i have already given here so after the import we will run this project see it has been done now i'm going to run and we'll see that it is running properly or not so i'm just right click in mac you can go inside the folder and right click in your windows new terminal folder i will uh, run this in some other port like php artisan serve port i am going to give the port like 8010 and here i'm going to check now and it must be working fine okay 8010 um, this is the port that i'm going to give and here i'm going to check that new website is working fine that i have provided okay so this is the website that you will get once you will join as a member okay so uh, so also uh, i want to you to follow the new series okay that we have just started laravel 11 tutorial okay so i want that you must start that laravel 11 you will learn many new things in laravel 11 uh, just open the website youtube.com stack developers and after uh, that you can just simply follow the series that laravel 11 that we are doing with the mongodb as the database so there you will not find this database 
uh, we will uh, see the mongodb database so this is the series that you can follow just click on this link for the playlist okay so this is the new series for the first time we are using the nosql database that is the mongodb okay so please follow this series at your end so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye